Before Marching and After by Thomas Hardy, in memoriam FWG. Orion swung southward aslant where the starved Egdon pine trees had thinned. The Pleiades aloft seemed to pant with the heather that twitched in the wind. But he looked on indifferent to sights such as these, unswayed by love, friendship, home joy or home sorrow, and wondered to what he would march on the morrow. The crazed household clock with its whir rang midnight within as he stood. He heard the low sighing of her who had striven from his birth for his good. But he still only asked the spring starlight, the breeze, what great thing or small thing his history would borrow from that game with death he would play on the morrow. When the heath wore the robe of late summer, and the fuchsia bells, hot in the sun, hung red by the door, a quick comber brought tidings that marching was done for him who had joined in that game overseas where death stood to win, though his name was to borrow a brightness therefrom not to fade on the morrow. September 1915